Welcome back to DM Academy. Okay, let's have the higher order uh, differentiation of the given function. Okay, uh, as we all know that the first order differentiation of the given function is denoted by dy over dx. Right? Let's say we have the function f of x or y is equal to f of x the first uh, differentiation or the first derivative of the given function is denoted by the dy over dx or it is also known as the y prime or the f prime of x okay given the function f of x it has also the second differentiation or the third fourth fifth up to the last differentiation okay to find the second differentiation or the second derivative of the given function all you have to do is to find the derivative of the first derivative and that is denoted by the d over dx of the dy over dx so again to find the second derivative or the second differentiation of the given function all you have to do is to find the derivative of the first derivative and this is equal to the d square y over the dx square. So this one is denoted by the second derivative of the given function. Or we may write this also as the y double prime or the f double prime of x. Okay, so in order to find the third derivative or the third differentiation of the given function. Okay, so this is third differentiation. Okay, so all you have to do is to find the derivative of what? The second derivative. Okay, so this is equal to the d cube y over the dx cube. This one denotes the third differentiation or the third derivative of the given function. And it is also known as the y triple prime or the f triple prime of x. Okay, so to find the n derivative, meaning that is denoted by the d raised to n of y over the dx raised to n. This is n derivative. Okay, so let's have sample problems to understand more about the higher order differentiation okay so let's have this problem okay solve the dy over dx dy over dx is the first derivative of the given function the d square y over dx square wherein this is the second differentiation we will also solve the third differentiation and the fourth differentiation of this function y is equal to 12x cubed minus, um, this must be 26x squared, plus 6x minus 5. Okay, so let us solve first the first differentiation. We're in the first differentiation is the dy over dx, and this is equal to the d over dx of 12x cubed minus 26x squared plus 6x minus 5. Okay, so this dy over dx is equal to, so according to the basic rules of differentiation, we will use the power rule here. This will be 36x squared. Okay, you will multiply this 3 to 12, then 3 will be subtracted by 1. That's why we have 36x squared. Then minus 52x. You multiply 2 to 26, and 2 will be subtracted by 1. Then plus 6. Okay, so this will be our first differentiation. Then to get the second differentiation, Take note, this is our first differentiation. Okay, so to get the second differentiation, 
the second differentiation is just the derivative of the first differentiation of y. Okay, so this is equal to d over dx of the dy over dx, which is the 36x squared minus 52x plus 6. Okay, so our second derivative, d square y over dx square is equal to, we have 72x, that is the derivative of 36x square, then minus the derivative of 52x, that is 52. Okay, so this is, again, our second derivative. This is our second derivative. Next, okay, let us solve now the third derivative, which is the third derivative is just the derivative of the second differentiation. Okay, so this is equal to the d over dx of the second derivative, which is 72x minus 52. Okay, so this one now will be the third differentiation of the given function. And this is equal to the derivative of 72x is 72. And the derivative of 52 is 0. Okay, so this is our first, uh, this is rather our third differentiation. Okay, then last, the fourth derivative. Okay, the fourth derivative is just the derivative of the third differentiation of the given function. Okay, so this is equal to the d over dx of the, the, the third dif differentiation, and that is 72. Okay, so we have now the fourth derivative of the given function is equal to the derivative of 72 is 0 since 72 is constant. The derivative of constant is always equal to 0. Okay? So this is our fourth derivative. Okay? Take note, class, uh, that this function y is equal to 12x cubed minus 26x squared plus 6x minus 5 is a polynomial polynomial function. So take note, if the given function is a polynomial function, you will expect that the last derivative of that is always equal to 0. Okay? Let's have another problem. Okay, let us solve this one. Derivative that us solve the first differentiation and the second differentiation of the function y is equal to the cosine of 2x plus 3. Okay, so let us solve first the first differentiation that is the dy over dx. And this is equal to the d over dx of the given function cosine 2x plus Okay, so this is equal to the dy over dx. Okay, that is, we will let u, or we will use chain rule to solve this one. That is the d over du of cosine u. We will let u be equal to 2x plus 3. And multiply it by the d over dx of 2x plus 3. Okay. We have the dy over dx is equal to the derivative of cosine u is negative sine u. I hope you still remember that. Then the derivative of 2x plus 3 is 2. Okay, to simplify this one, this is negative 2 sine u. Then our dy over dx is equal to negative 2 sine of 2x plus 3. Okay, this will be our dy over dx. Okay, next, to solve the second differentiation or the second derivative of the given function, it is just, again, the derivative of the first differentiation. And that is equal to the d over 
dx of negative 2 sine of 2x plus 3. And this is equal to, let us factor out first the constant that is negative 2 d over dx of of sine 2x minus 3. Okay, so the second derivative denoted by the d square y dx square is equal to negative 2. Okay, let us use the chain rule again that is d over du of sine u. Multiply it by the d over dx of 2x minus 3. Okay, this is equal to negative 2 multiplied by the derivative of sine u, that is positive cosine u. Then multiplied by the derivative of 2x minus 3, that is 2. Okay, and that is equal to negative 2 multiplied by cosine u times 2, that is negative 4 cosine or this is equal to negative 4 cosine of u, which is 2x minus 3. Okay, so this is again our second differentiation. Thank you for watching. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, let's have some corrections here. Um, this must be 2x plus 3. Yeah, this must be 2x plus 3. This must be 2x plus 3. Okay, there we go. Thank you for watching.